so welcome buddies in a single video we are going to have a quick revision of class 12th first chapter that is electrostatic and you and you and we both know that uh, it's a huge chapter so first thing is like charges and unlike charges so like charges repel and unlike charges attract to each other then they are a conductor conductor are that allow movement of electric charge through them and insulator do not allow what is quantization of electric charge so that is the total charge of a body is always an integral multiple of basic quantum of charge that is e so q is equal to any and uh, n can be uh, from integer zero and integers what is additivity of electric charge so total charge of a system is the algebraic sum of all individual charges in the system then there is a conservation of electric charges that is total charge of an isolated system remains uncharged with time superposition principle it is the property of the forces with, uh, with which two charges attract or repel each other that are not affected by the presence of the third additional charges so it is a, it is the property of forces electric field e at a point due to electric configuration so it is the force on a small positive test charge so q placed the uh, point divided by the magnitude so the formula is uh, uh, mod of q by 4 pi epsilon naught r square it is gradually outward from q if q is positive then the really inward if q is negative so e electric field at the point varies inversely as the square of the distance between the q and the plot e versus r look like figure given below coulomb's law the mutual electrostatic force between two point charges q1 and q2 is proportional to the product of q1 q2 and inversely proportional to the square root of the distance between them so coulomb's law is k q1 q2 by r square and uh, when we uh, convert into in a vector form then r cap uh, uh, is multiplied and divided uh, simultaneously and here the value of k is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught that is proportional to constant so talking about electric field lines so these are the curve, curve drawn in a way that the tangent at each point on the curve give the direction of electric field at that point now talking about what are the important properties of field lines so these are field lines are continuous curves without any breaks so they are continuous two field lines cannot cross each other electrostatic field line is started a positive charge and and the negative charge they cannot form closed loops so what is electric field at a point due to charge so the formula of electric field is force divided by coulomb force divided by charge so force divided by charge is equal to electric field now what is electric field due to electric dipole in the equatorial plane so remember in equatorial plane electric field or to due to dipole is uh, negative of p by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 upon a square plus r square to the uh, rest to 3 3 by 2 so uh, it, it, it's it's quite written here electric field due to el electric dipole on the axis of distance r from the center is 2 pi r by 4 pi epsilon naught r square minus a square to the whole square now what is the formula of electric dipole plays in uniform electric field when electric field experiences torque tau so tau is equal to p cross e electric flux that is integral d phi that is e dot ds close integral it is a dot product hence it is scalar if delta phi that is flux is positive for all values of theta less than pi by 2 and flux is ne uh, uh, negative for all values of theta greater than pi by 2 what is gauss law the flux of electric field through any closed surface is 1 upon epsilon naught times the total charge enclosed by uh, surface area so the formula becomes flux is, uh, flux that phi is equal to e close integral e dot ds that is q by epsilon naught electric field outside the charge cell is as through the total charge is concentrated at the center the same result is true for a solid sphere of uniform volume charge density electric field is zero at all point inside the charge cell now talking about electric field e d due to an infinitely long straight wire of uniform linear charge density lambda so is equal to lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught r dot n cap review will remember e is equal to lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught r dot n cube where r is what perpendicular distance from the point where the wire and the radial unit vector in the plane normal to the wire passes through the point electric field e due to infinite thin plate sheet of uniform surface charge density that is sigma e is equal to sigma by 2 pi epsilon naught dot n cap n cap is what unit vector normal to the plane perpendicular to the other side of the plane electric field e due to thin spherical shell of uniform surface charge density sigma will be e is, that is electric field is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon naught r square dot r cap in a vector form and e will be zero if r is less than r that is inside the meat of the conductor Rise is the distance of the point from the center of the cell and r is the radius of q q is the total charge of the cell so q is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught r square sigma talking about electric field e along the uh, uh, outward normal to the surface is zero if sigma is the surface charge density charge in conductor can reside only at a surface potential is constant within and on the surface of the conductor it can cavity within the conductor with no charges and electric field is zero so i think it was all about basic things about the electrostats thank you have a nice day uh, shining off